Hello everyone and welcome back to Bio Inc. Redemption. We're gonna be a doctor. We're gonna save this guy. I fully understand how to play now. We can do this. We can win this. We can bring this guy from the brink of death. We are good. Let's see, your name will be... There we go. Let's, uh... Let's get... Okay, let's see. All lifestyles are 10% less... 20% nah, more efficient? Nah, not really. I haven't seen this screen. But I got two points. Okay, let's see. Fewer potential diseases. Clicking on a symptom will highlight fewer diseases. Uh, that seems beneficial, but I'm not quite sure how that'll work. Okay, start the stage with 10, 15 bio points, but it only costs three. Okay, oh, okay, I can only get this one. Okay, bio point rush. Random eruptions of multiple resources. That seems pretty good, but it's random. I don't like randomness because, like, when I play a game, I, I'm, I'm playing skillfully, at least to how much knowledge I have on the game. I'm playing skillfully. I hate games that are based on random chance. Well, okay, hate's a strong word, but you get my point. It's just, it takes away the skill factor when it's random. Recover stats, or recovery starts at 10%. Okay. Better treatments, uh, wait, I can't afford any of those. Why am I even reading those? Okay, cheap upgrades, resources upgrades are 50% cheaper. Eh, resources stay for half a second before they disappear. Okay, so I can get both of those. Resources would stay longer and upgrades would be cheaper. But I don't, there's only three upgrades per level. I think what I'm going to do... I think I'm going to go with fewer symptoms. That way I can narrow it down quicker. Because that's what it's about. It's about finding out what he has and curing it as fast as possible. Now, I don't think I'm actually fighting the ex-doctor. I think I'm just fighting the disease. Like, the person has a disease and I have to figure out what it is. I'm not actually fighting the ex-doctor. Alright, so here we go. Reach 100% recovery. Patient, that one guy, has a few diseases targeting his circulatory and nervous system. And his overall health is suffering. Okay. Same as before. Alright. So. First things first. We gotta get bio points. Alright. I got 12 bio points. He has mood swings. Irregular heartbeat. Dizziness. Anxiety. Fatigue. Personality changes. Alright. Let's just start with the most relevant. Irregular heartbeat and dizziness. Okay. How can we fix his irregular heartbeat? Okay, that's uh, arrhythmia. He might have arrhythmia. Well, that would explain a regular heartbeat because that's what arrhythmia is. It's an irregular heartbeat. <laughs> so we have to find something that tests for arrhythmia. All right, that costs eight points. Oh my God. Okay, that's done. And while that's doing his thing, I'm gonna collect more bio points. All right, he was positive for a whole bunch of stuff. Okay, he was positive for everything except for a heart attack. Let's go ahead and check out what we can cure. I have eight points. Uh, two more points, and it's, it's faster and more efficient. Uh, hmm. All right, well, this is what I got to cure. So I'm going to save up for this one. I got to get this one done right away. Got to cure his arrhythmia. So I'm going to save up some more points. We got an upgrade here. Let's see. 40% harvest power. Diagnose at least three diseases. All right, uh... 40% harvest power. I'm gonna buy that because if I buy that one real early, it'll lead to higher later on. 
but that did affect his recovery because now I can't cure diseases until I get more points. So I'm gonna work on that. Oh, look at that. It's already, it already, and it's already paid for itself, I think. Either way, we can now cure the arrhythmia. Right? Yeah, okay. Okay, so that's doing its thing. Let's collect some more points while we're waiting on that. Okay, I'm collecting points really fast. That upgrade must have been pretty damn efficient. All right, let's see. Uh, we'll rock. We'll rock the cheap stuff for now. And I have uh, thirty-one. Yeah, we'll go with we'll go with the stains. Those are those are way better than the strict diet. That one guy is now in his golden age. Okay, so he's old, apparently. <laughs> okay, curing up, curing up. All right. All of that stuff is cured. How lucky am I, right? All right, now he's got mood swings. Anxiety, personality changes, and muscle aches. All right, we're going to work on the mood swings. That's got to be a brain issue. Nervous breakdown, major depression. Okay, so we gotta find something that does both of those. Okay, apparently nothing does both of those. All right, so we'll just go with the cheapest, or rather, we gotta we gotta get the depression under control first. So that's what we'll do. We'll run the test for depression first. Although we're pretty sure he has depression, but as a doctor, you have to have proof before you can start treating diseases. I'm not house after all. All right. Oh, he got two new symptoms. That's not good. He was negative for depression. Wow. Okay. But he does have dementia, chronic stress, and a nervous breakdown. I don't quite understand that. I didn't run tests for nervous breakdown, yet it still showed me that he had a nervous breakdown. Yeah, see, uh, what was the test I could have ran for nervous breakdown? Well, yeah, psychological evaluation. And yet, I still found out that he had that. So I'm not quite understanding what that's about. But nonetheless, let's start treating some of these problems. Stress management therapy or antidepressants? Well, I'm not really big on prescribing pills if they're not necessary. So we'll go with that for now. Psychiatrist, oh, you know what? Wait, hold up. This one's cheaper and is way faster. <laughs> well, there goes my moral compass on prescribing pills and dementia. Do I even, I don't even have eight. Okay, so let's cure that up while I collect some more points. Immune boost. That one guy's immune system is in overdrive and producing more cells than usual. Heck yes. Alright. Well, I just got a whole bunch of points doing that. Okay, the treatment was effective. Let's go ahead and prescribe him some pills for his dementia. And let's find out what's going on with these muscle weak Parkinson's disease. Okay, um... Yeah, see, that one actually shows me that both of these test for that. All right, this tests just for Parkinson's, and it's cheaper. This would also test for Alzheimer's. He is an old man. I don't think I want to spend the points. Oh, I'll do that for now. Okay, what else could it be, though? Uh, muscle weakness. Yeah, it could be in his bones as well, but we're going to go with the brain for now. We're just going to test for the brain. Loss of reflexes, loss of reflexes. Hmm. Well, I have to think efficiently, though. What would be the most relevant cause for muscle weakness? Over Overworking them? Muscular de dystrophy? Dystrophy? Yeah, they're muscular dystrophy. That sounds like what it could possibly be. And he also has loss of reflexes. So I'm going to test for that. But now I'm broke. So I need some more points. Alright, 
He had Parkinson's disease. Cheer it up when I can. He now is sustaining memory loss. That's not good. Alright, I gotta I gotta get in there and cure Parkinson's disease. 14, I have 13. Well, great. His nervous system and circulatory system are almost shot. He was negative for muscular dystrophy. Hmm. Curiously, so curiously. Alright. Apparently his heart's also still taking damage. So I'm going to go ahead and cure his Parkinson's disease while I got the chance. It's going to take 31 day, or 33 days to do it. But, uh, I was completely overlooking this. I could have been getting him on a healthier lifestyle. Alright, let's uh, go ahead and get him on the Mediterranean diet. Which apparently is just salad. Let's see what else I can get him on. Aerobic workouts. Let's see, moderate drinking. Proper hydration. A sleep routine. Hmm. Let's uh, see. I can't do any of this stuff yet. All right. Fast diagnosis. Nah. You know what? Let's just let's keep them in this. Yeah. I didn't even. I think that might have been a mistake I had. I I wasn't even focused on lifestyle changes that he could have been making. Randomly evolved relaxation therapy. That one guy is trying to be more relaxed. Okay, cool. I love when he randomly gets stuff that's beneficial to me. Oh, great. Now he has memory loss. Personality changes as well. Alright, let's run the test, I guess. I ain't really got the freaking points for that. I should have just ran that test anyway. Because, remember... I was thinking about which one I should run. Yeah, if I would have just ran that one, it would have been fine. Alright, his nervous system is falling apart, but hopefully that test is positive. We can get started on treatment right away. Alright, so he does in fact have Alzheimer's. So I was right though when I said he is an old man, he might actually have that. I was, I was right. Should have just went with my gut decision. Okay, well, well, good part is I can go ahead and treat it, but it's only got 50 or 60% chance of actually working. So far, I've been lucky with the chances, but <laughs> that means I'm due for it to fail now. I'm going to see what lifestyle changes I can get on his uh, nervous system. Because we definitely... Why, why are these all locked? Okay, there we go. Do some yoga, my good man. Do some yoga. That's all I can do for his nervous system. Oh. Deep breathing. Did your kidney just explode? Come on, man. Alright. What's going on over here? And it's... I think it's treated... I think it's treated. All right, his recovery is going way up. He's looking better. No, he's not looking as bad. His nervous system's still dropping, so there's something still wrong with his nervous system that I just haven't found out yet. All right, swelling and bruising. All right, what can we test? Arthritis. Yes, that that actually that makes sense. Let's, uh, yep. Let's go ahead and get him on that. He's an old man. Too bad it doesn't like tell me his age, because that would that would be kind of beneficial. Like that's why doctors ask you your age, is because it's it's kind of important to know. All right, he's now in the emergency room, which means I'm, you know, I'm getting to that point. He was negative for all that, so it's something in his heart that's causing it. Darn it, confusion. Alright. 
Let's test for both of these. I gotta find out what's wrong with his what's wrong with his nervous system. Uh antibiotic steroids, don't need that. I need something for his nervous system. There we go. Neuroregeneration. Let's do it. Positive for blood clots. That's what's causing the swelling and bruising. Bam. Bam. I have just enough. Anticoagulants. There we go. He was positive for a stroke. I don't know what I can really do about a stroke at this current moment. Let's see what I can do for a stroke. Uh, 12 takes 11. We'll just go with aspirin. It'd be cheaper to just rock two aspirin than it would be to actually... Oh, and it worked, so... Bonus. It actually worked. Alright, let's see what else. He has no symptoms. Okay, so we treated everything. That guy had a lot of stuff wrong with him. I think we did it. <sighs> Although his circulatory system is still dropping. That's that's so weird. His systems were still dropping. I guess once his recovery hits 100%, that's when he starts recovering. But either way, we did it. Yay! My diagnosis efficiency was 137%. Mm. I am the master of the moderate difficulty. Well, I think I did really good compared to my first video. I think I did really good. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, well, I know how to do that now. Diagnose all diseases before it's too late. Okay. Uh... Apparently, I'm going into diagnostic medicine next. Should be fun. Thank everybody so much for watching. And you will see me in the next video. Bye.